I am open and receptive to all good. Do that with me for a minute. I am open and receptive to all good. And this is such a wonderful symbolic gesture. I am open and receptive to all good. Not a little bit, not just some, but all good. You know, when you do something like this, the universe notices. The universe notices. A lot of think that people think that prosperity is just money. But really, there's many, many other things that come under this auspices of prosperity. There's time and love and success and joy and comfort and beauty and wisdom and good health and money. You know, you can be very poor in time. If you feel really rushed all the time and always pressured, you have poverty in your time. But if you feel that you have all the time in the world and that whatever you want to finish, you'll get done and it will, it will all happen, then you're really prosperous in time. And what about success? You know, if you feel that it's really way beyond your reach, then you're never going to get it. But if you feel that you can be successful, whatever that means to you, then that's wonderful. That's prosperity. Comfort. How many of you are prosperous in comfort? Or do you live lives that are really very uncomfortable and hard and tight? Wisdom. Do you have prosperity and wisdom? Do you feel that all the wisdom in the universe is available to you? Or do you think, oh, I'm just me and I don't know very much and, you know, I can't figure things out? If you feel that you're really connected with the universe and you really trust that part of you that's inside, then you can be absolutely prosperous in the abundance of wisdom. And what about love? Do you feel that you have an abundance of love? Or are you very poor in love? Is there very just a little bit of it in your life? How about joy? Do you feel you're really prosperous and have an abundance of joy? Or is that something you just allow yourself a little bit of now and then? And you really are very poor in joy. And then what about beauty? Do you see beauty everywhere? Do you allow yourself to experience an abundance of beauty? And what about good health? Do you have no health? Is there very little? Are you poor in good health? Or are you prosperous and do you have an abundance of good health? And of course, there's money then. There's money too. You know, what do you let yourself have? Are you poor in money or do you have an abundance of it? I like to use that uh, image a lot of the ocean, standing in front of the ocean with a container in your hand. You know, and you're there and you have this container, but what is it? Is it a thimble with a hole in it? Is it a small cracked cup? Is it a mug? Is it a vase? Is it a, a, a quart jar or a pail or a bucket or a wash tub? Or do you have a pipeline? And remember, no matter how, a pipeline, run it right in. <laughs> but no matter how much you have, whatever your container it is, and no matter how much you're taking from the ocean of life, and even though we're all standing there, we're not robbing each other and there's plenty for everyone, and no matter how much we take, there is no way we're going to run that ocean dry. It's absolutely impossible. And if you can th see yourself standing at the ocean of life in the same way, and remember the container that you have is your consciousness, and you can always change your consciousness. And it doesn't matter if you came from poverty, doesn't matter where you came from, and it doesn't even matter what your parents' beliefs were or if they came from the depression or whatever, because it's your consciousness and what you're choosing to think and believe about prosperity and your ability to deserve it is what's going to create it for you. See, it has nothing to do with getting. People always think, oh, I want to get this or I want to get this. It's really allowing yourself to accept which is a different concept. When you're not having something that you want, it's because on some level, you're not allowing yourself to accept it. But you see, life is here for us. It's here for us and it's here to support us in every way. But remember, what we give out, we get back. So if we're stingy with life, then life will be stingy with us. It's just that simple. If we steal from life, life will steal from us and you know it doesn't it, department stores are not fair game 
If you take paper clips from the office or do your personal Xeroxing there, that's not fair game because it's still, it's the same old thing. What you give out, you get back. And what you're saying to the universe in a way is I can't afford to take those things, for, have those things for myself. I don't have the ability to earn it. Therefore, I must take it from somebody. And that's poverty thinking. That never, ever, ever creates prosperity. Life is here for us and there is an incredible abundance on this planet. Sometimes we only see our lack, but the abundance that is here is so enormous. You know, if you think about it for a moment, there is so much food on this planet that we could literally feed everybody on this planet. Yes, it is true that there are people that are starving, but it's not because of a lack of food. I mean, we burn crops in this country just to keep prices up. If people are starving, it's a lack of love. It's that we're allowing such a thing to happen. There is an absolute abundance of money on this planet. There is so much money that we can't even count it. And yes, it is true that there are many people who have very little, but it has nothing to do with the amount of money that's here. It's a lack of consciousness. It's a not deserving, not accepting. And are you aware that there are billions and billions of people on this planet? And yet you will hear people tell you that they're lonely. It has nothing to do with the amount of people. It's because we put walls up and we won't allow the love to come in. We have an abundance of air on this planet. You know, if you think about it, our most precious substance is the air we breathe. When we exhale, we take it absolutely for granted that the next breath will be there. And if we didn't have a next breath, we wouldn't live for three minutes. We literally would not get out of this room alive. And yet we take it absolutely for granted that when we exhale, the next breath is going to be there. And we're all breathing in this room. And I'm not saying, don't breathe, there's not enough for me. We just assume. Now, if the most precious substance in our life has been given to us with such abundance and that there's enough to last for as long as we shall live, then can we not trust that other things will be taken care of? And Matthew 6 is always a good thing to read when you're a little bit scared about stuff. The power that created us has put everything here for us, but it's up to us to deserve and to accept. That's what we need to do. You know, what we concentrate on increases. So you want to be very careful that you're not concentrating on debt and lack and bills and negativity because that's what's going to increase it in our life. If you can concentrate on bills and see them as enemies, then they're going to be enemies and you will never ever have enough to really take care of them. Bills are wonderful things. They're, they're, they're what the, it means that somebody has trusted us enough to give us their service or their product, knowing that we have the ability to pay it. And if we can welcome those bills with love and rejoice, and when you write a check out to pay it or you pay a bill, absolutely rejoice that you're able to do it and know that what you're sending out is coming back to you. See, too often we think, oh, another bill. Or we write the check and say, oh, there isn't enough or whatever. But start feeling a good flow with this whole thing. Self-image is very important because self-image, feeling good about yourself is prosperity. Prosperity begins with that. Doesn't matter how much money you have, if you don't feel good about yourself, you're never going to enjoy it. And then look at your prosperity now because everything that you do have in your life is a reflection of what you believe you deserve, what you believe about yourself. You know, look at your home. Is this a place that you really love to live in? Is it comfortable and joyous? Or is it cramped and dirty and always messy? The same thing with your car. You know, is your car something that you really don't even like? Or is it something that reflects the love you have for yourself? And what about your clothes? You know, are they just a bother and a nuisance and something you have to wear? Or is it something you really rejoice in? Because again, it's a reflection of you. And what about your bank account? You know, how do you feel about that? And what is the state of it? Are you friends with money or is it an enemy? 
All these things are important because what we have in our life is a reflection of ourselves. But remember, no matter where we are or whatever is happening, it's a reflection of ourselves, but it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. It's a thought about what you believe about yourself, what you believe about life, and what you believe you deserve. When we change our thinking, we change our reality. That's just that simple. So let's know some positive things for ourselves. We are open and receptive to wonderful new ideas. We allow prosperity to enter our lives on a level that it has never entered before. We deserve the best and we are willing to accept. Our income is constantly increasing. We move away from poverty thinking into prosperity thinking. We love ourselves. We rejoice in who we are and we know that life is here for us and will supply us with everything that we need. We move from success to success, from joy to joy, and from abundance to abundance. We are one with the power that created us and we express for ourselves the greatness that we are. We are divine, magnificent expressions of life and we are open and receptive to all good. And so it is.